Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson Number 82. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to access the Fill Gallery to create a textured background in your web design workspace. Uh, the reason that I'm making this tutorial is because I had a YouTube viewer request on how to accomplish this task, and this is going to be pretty standard across all versions of the Xara Web Designer software, whether you have a new version, version 8 premium, or previous versions. So let's go ahead and get started. So once you have the program open, the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is go to your uh, utilities actually. Go to utilities and your menu up here, go to galleries, and then you're going to click on fill gallery. And that's going to be shift plus F11 if you want to use the shortcut for that. So go ahead and left click on that. And when you click on the fill gallery, it's going to bring up another panel here. I'm going to close all my folders out and you'll see that there's about four or five folders here so you have a brick folder if you left click on that it will show all the fields for that if you go to the fabric folder it will show all the fabric textures and so on and so on so you can go to any of these folders and you can grab a texture for your background so I'm gonna go to the wood folder and I'll pick me a wood texture out of here And I'm probably going to take this last uh, texture here for the wood, wood in four. And then in order to make this part of your background, you need to hold down the control key, then left click and drag while you're holding down the control key, and then release that on the page. And you'll see that it changes the texture of the background to be the wood. But what if you made a mistake and you didn't want to actually change the background texture? Maybe you made a change and you want to revert back to the original settings all you have to do is right click and when you right click you're going to click on default background colors and that's going to reset the values for your background for your page so that will be how you change the texture of your background for your pages a very simple process uh, hopefully that youtube viewer that was looking for this video finds this helpful and if you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, embed our video, and comment, you know, that kind of thing. And I hope that you stay tuned for future videos. Have a great day.